Joy, would you rather live outside? I'm sure by looking around you can see why I didn't want to wait until today to finish the barn up. But we got this going on, we got another mom that's having an issue with birthing. Fun morning. You gotta love weather changes. Hopefully this thing starts. Never had it in this cold weather. It's uh, about nine degrees out right now. So we shall see. I'm not sure what the temperature is in the barn, but it feels pretty good, especially compared to outside. However, it was cold enough, this hose froze. So, I'm gonna take both these hoses off, unthaw them, and get all that taken care of. She had a baby, as you can see. Unfortunately, the one that we said was in labor, she gave birth early and uh, didn't really give birth so much as something, something happened to cause her to go into labor and the baby was a stillborn and the baby was premature. All right, we've had the heat on it for about probably 10 minutes now. Uh, let's see what happens. Ooh, it went off. Glow plug counter is lower too. Let's see what happens. Let the glow plugs go all the way, just in case it does crank. Same heater to thaw this out. Since we had the skid steer running. Whew. This thing is rough. Hey! Turns out the skid steer is just allergic to the cold. I'm glad to see she's more lively. Who the heck is her baby? It's a good hiding spot. Hide and seek champion. Come on, Joy. Are you cold? Huh? Are you cold? Did you drink some of your milk? Oh, there you go. You cold? the hoses thawing out we actually just brought all of them in here and wrapped them around so it would be simple to instead of dragging all the hoses into the shop or into the house to thaw them out so while they're thawing out we're still monitoring it just because you never want to leave a tarp that whole contraption could fall down and then it's going to catch fire obviously you should always monitor it we're going to bring those sparks through this so we don't have to come back and get them
check this mom real quick because I don't know if you can see it well on the camera or not, but she has one side that's much larger than the other with her udder. Like Chrissy mentioned earlier, it could be that the baby is just simply drinking off one side, not the other, but we want to double check since we've already got her here. Chrissy just let everybody back in. She's doing that. I'm going to get their water ran. The hoses are all thawed out. That's thawed. That's thawed. Hopefully this is... Yep, that's thawed. In good shape. Alright, let's go get them... Uh, we'll get them set up real quick. I'm working on it, ladies. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the story of how my skid steer is allergic to the cold. And I know that the sheep are enjoying their new bedding and new bales of hay and everything else. No, we didn't do the whole floor. And we probably won't until next week. Uh, it, it was, I mean, it's cold. It's, well, I haven't checked my phone, but when we came out, it was about nine degrees and the wind chill was negative three. And I'm sure it's not much better because the wind hasn't changed. It's still about the same. And the temperature don't feel a whole lot different either. So, yeah, good times. I don't mind winter, but you know, if it's gonna be cold, I want lots of snow, not just a little bit. Like I wanna be able to go play in the snow after I get done with chores. But here we are. Looks like Christy went and checked on the horses again and they're doing pretty good. What are you guys doing? <laughs> like I said, I hope you all enjoyed the video and I hope we'll see you again next time. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and make sure you hit that like button as well. That really helps us with the YouTube, YouTube algorithm to spread our channel to others that enjoy the same shows as you. So have a blessed week. We'll see you next time.